My name is Adi Riker Aloof. I am a proud Jew, Israeli-American, and San Franciscan, and I'm a proud educator at the Jewish Community High School of the Bay. And I stand here today on the brink of both the one-year mark of October 7th and the brink of a new Jewish year in solidarity with our hostages and their families, in solidarity with Israelis, hundreds of thousands who pour into the streets, in solidarity with Palestinian and Lebanese civilians who just want peace and safety and quiet, in solidarity with everyone on the side of human life and human dignity. I've experienced and processed the events of this past year with beautiful, open, curious, and humble high schoolers and colleagues. I've had the opportunity to grieve, ask, learn, and discuss in sacred community with young people whose sheer presence demands of me, demands of us, the commitment and discipline of hope. The faces of our kids from the Bay Area to Nir Oz to Kiryat Shmona to Khan Yunis to Janine command us to imagine, command us to act, to demand a different reality. As I stand on the brink of the one year mark of October 7th, and on the brink of Rosh Hashanah, I, like Rabbi Stacy, I hear the sounds of the shofar. Tekia. One full, uninterrupted note, a command demanding our attention. Shvarim. Three medium length notes, literally the cracks, the shiver. The broken pieces, the shofar is weeping. Tua, short staccato sounds, evoking with even more urgency all that has been shattered. Tekia gdola, one long, uninterrupted note, whole and complete. In that brokenness, and in that wholeness, in all that is showered and all, uh, sorry, in all that is shattered and all that remains whole and good and pure, the shofar wakes us up and calls us to action. To put relentless pressure on the extremist right-wing Israeli government to end this war. To bring back our hostages to stop the relentless destruction of Gaza and the murder and abuse of Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank. We demand action. We demand a deal, a ceasefire, diplomatic solutions. Ward will not bring back our hostages, deals will. We know this, we've seen this in November. Rak aval rak shalom yavi bitachon. Only and only peace will bring safety and security and collective freedom and liberation. October 7th, 2024 marks the anniversary of a specific day. And it's the one year mark of something that is ongoing, something that we are still in. October 7th is not just about mourning those beautiful souls we have lost. It's also about hearing the alarm of the shofar to reinvigorate the call to bring the rest of our hostages home and stop this war, to end and prevent more and more loss and trauma. From here in the Bay Area, we must make sound, we must act from all our places of brokenness, from our shvarim, and from all our places of wholeness and love. Another day must 
and will come and we must have the moral courage and the imagination and the creativity and the discipline to make it so. In 5785, may we have more chutzpah. I bless us with more chutzpah, with more audacity to envision and demand new realities for ourselves and for our kids. Bring them home, end the war, stop the killing, and Shana Tova.